Hi, welcome to my channel in my zone. I'm Patricia Tone and I am back. It's been a while as you can hear my voice. Had a little bit of laryngitis, not a lot, but um, the weather is changing. So it's been kind of foggy. I've been hot, <clears throat> excuse me, and sweating at night. Sweating at night with them hot flashes, baby. Not pretty, okay? Hot flashes are so uncomfortable. And you be sweating up, up all around the neck and everything. But, um... I took a couple days off, you know, from filming and things like that. Um... And so, I have to give you some updates, okay? So, check this out. Remember when I went by the Venice Canals and there was no water in it? Baby, they didn't fill the damn canals up. It's so much water over there. I had to go drop some people off over there. And honey, I almost died laughing because it was water everywhere. It's enough water. Honey... A damn tugboat could go down there. It was so much water. I say, somebody that seats my video. Somebody seats my video. They seen it, y'all. Somebody saw it. I, 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 I refuse to believe otherwise. Because, honey, it was enough water in there. It was like they had put a, a, a tube and just got some water from the pacific ocean baby that's how much water is over there now y'all in the venice canal so feel free to go tour the venice canals over there in venice beach <laughs> i was dying y'all y'all i'm so mad right now i came over here last week and they had filled the damn thing up now i'm over here today taking somebody else and the goddamn water back down oh man I, and I don't know what I did with that footage. I'm mad as hell. If I tell y'all this week and last week that everybody, everybody that I saw, maybe one exception, one or two people, told me that I'm funny. Told me I need a talk show. I need a podcast. I need a YouTube channel. <laughs> Told me I need to be sharing my gifts of comedy because I am funny. Now, I ain't say that. The people, that's what the people say. That's what the people say. And this one lady uh, the other day, yesterday, she said, uh, I have to tell you something. I said, okay. I work in PR. I said, uh-huh. And even though I'm from Australia, you need a talk show. I said, girl, shut your mouth. You didn't know how much I used to want to be the late night talk show host that took over for Arsenio Hall. I'm trying to tell y'all, they didn't even know, baby. I had people at one of my uh, comedy clubs. I think it might have been out there in Santa Barbara or somewhere. It was like four hours away. Their people were saying how funny I was. I said, well, then write in the NBC and tell them how funny I am. If I tell you. All them people wrote a note, a letter, or whatever from Santa Barbara, and NBC called me to meet me to see who the hell I was. Mm -hmm. Chris Spencer was there because he the one that had gotten a job, but I didn't know that at the time. And so he was just like shocked shitless to see me walk up in there, and they was like, oh, okay. And to me, you know, again, it was the same thing I felt with BET that, oh, we not giving no fat black woman that nobody knows a uh, talk show right forget the fact that i had the skill set forget the fact that i knew what i was doing because baby i've been watching talk shows ever since i knew how to talk okay you couldn't tell me nothing about donahue sally jesse raphael ricky lake uh what's the other lady dang she was a blonde lady um anyway it was a whole bunch of uh talk shows back in the day uh, Johnny Carson, all them, you couldn't tell me, and that's all I did was watch those shows, and I was ready, I was ready, but the time that I was trying to get it, the first time around, in the 90s, that's when they was giving them out to Magic Johnson, Ken Ivory Wins, and who else had it, uh, uh, Orlando Jones, and 
uh, all these other people was trying to do the talk show, you know. But they didn't have the it factor to me. Sinbad had one that, you know, kind of took over after uh, Arsenio. Nobody had Arsenio's flavor. Nobody can do. You can't do Arsenio. Nobody. Arsenio is more Arsenio, okay? You can't duplicate him. Now, what you can do is find somebody that people kind of like, think they're cute, funny, whatever, and they can, you know, become a fan of. That's what you can do. But all these other people, they was coming out there and trying to do this, trying to be here. But go play basketball, please, sir. Go, go, go to your field. I ain't trying to be rude, but you know, that's how I feel. You know how you feel when somebody doing the thing that you think you should be doing. <laughs> Which is half of all of us in the world. But yeah. So to hear that these people say that recently. It's just really, really, really been mind blown. One lady had her friend to call me. And he did call me. He was like, I do comedy out in North Hollywood. You need, We need to hook up. I was like, okay, okay. Um, so yeah. For me who have been. Who has been wanting just y'all know i love filmmaking i want to direct films i want to direct tv shows or whatever and i was just shifting to behind the camera i love to put other people in the frame and so in the last couple of years you know god been telling me and i've been trying to ignore it i have to uh shift my butt right on back in front of the camera and do both you know and i just I, I I I was I've been so tired. I hate it when I feel tired. I hate it when I feel alone. I I don't have anybody to be there for me like I was there for all these other people. And then I'm trying to tell myself, stop feeling all sorry for yourself. Stop whining. Get your big butt up and re uh, exercise and practice and do all that. So yeah, but that's really 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 hard when you're by yourself. When you're by yourself, when the people you help don't really reach back. Now, they're not obligated, but you know how you feel when that happens. So, anyway, that's what's been going on in the last couple of weeks. It's just been blowing my mind because I, I've been fighting depression, thinking about all these finances I have and then trying to find a job. Okay, let's turn the page. Dear employers, the people you have recruiting for you, uh, you need to get rid of them. These are the most unprofessional people I've ever seen in my life. You got people trying to ask questions about their job and what you would do if you were in their position so that they know how to do their own damn job. They are here interviewing people on the steps and procedures to do the job that y'all gave them to do. I'm not, I'm not doing no projects. I'm not doing no, I'm not doing no more. L hear me when I say, if I got to go through four to five damn interviews, I don't want to work for you. And that many people don't need to be over who hires somebody. That's why so much shit in y'all companies. You need one person, the HR person, and maybe the manager that that person will report to, and they need to both be in the same interview to ask the questions. We don't have time for this bull crap, okay? I didn't gave people my email. I have a simple email. They can't even type that right. Did you get the email? No. Well, I typed. I gave you my email. Oh, I thought you said. No, I did not say. How can you... Be a recruiter and you can't even hear plain basic English. And here's the other thing that I like. Now some of them, I had a few. I ain't gonna lie, I had a few that were really good. And then it got to the next step. And then those are the people that was not good energy. So this recruiter ready to hire me, but the other people next in in the interview, set of interviews, they looking at me up and down. I, I don't want y'all job. I don't, I don't want your job. Mm-mm. No, the jobs I'm applying for, those are the jobs I want. I don't want your job. Stop being intimidated by me. I didn't create this. God did. I ain't had no choice in the matter. No choice in the matter. 
Stop looking me up and down head for toe. Stop judging me for my age, for my size, for my color, for my uh, uh, resume, uh, education. That's not what's important. I applied to this job because I want to do this job right here. Just this one. For now. Just this one. Baby, y'all got some petty recruiters out there. Petty, petty, petty. And I ain't doing, oh, I ain't doing no video recording for no interview. Kiss my ass. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Don't ask me to record no video. I'm not doing no fucking video. If you want me and my good skill set and this bubbly, beautiful personality and this million dollar smile, then you need to talk to me in person. I take a Zoom. I don't mind not wasting gas. But all that other best, no. Immediately, no. No. I saw one guy today, not today on a video on social media. He said uh, the person made them do a, a, a presentation, right? Built, he had to build a deck and all this stuff and do a presentation and everything. Sent it to the lady. It was a fake job. So the lady, whoever she was working for, got this guy to do her work. Okay? Playing like she a hiring manager. And they out here outsourcing they, they uh job duties and responsibilities to other people who looking for jobs. Y'all going straight to hell. You going down. That's some foul shit if I ever heard it in my life. But it's good. Y'all, you got some good ones. You got some good ones. But that's some crazy shit. Y'all, y'all out of control. You are out of control. Employers, if you see or can't figure out why you can't keep the employees, you're having a hard time hiring, it's the people that's doing it. Get rid of them. They blocking y'all jobs from being prosperous. That's what they're doing. I'm telling you what they're doing. Because people like me, they really want to work, want to get up, get out, do thing, come home, and, and, and be on our P's and Q's. They don't want us around because we're too intimidating. Get rid of them people out the way. We don't need them. I don't need nobody to ask me, do I know how to order supplies and put them in a damn cabinet? Where the fuck they going to go? Really, girl? Really? All right. I'm just telling y'all what I know. It ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. And y'all. You, you know what's sad? All you stupid people. You ain't even smart enough to hire somebody so that you can kind of Look over their shoulder and learn some other stuff for yourself. Y'all ain't even smart enough to hire the smart people so you can learn what to do. That's how dumb y'all are. Y'all don't even know that you messing up for yourself. You, It used to be where people would hire people smarter than them. Listen at, at, at them billionaires talk. They hire people smarter than them. Why? Because they can learn from them. Now, everybody you hire don't have to be smarter than you. But, on, on a lot of things, if you hiring people smarter than you, you're going to learn something. You're going to educate yourself. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what the problem is. Y'all don't want to learn nothing. Y'all think y'all supposed to lay around the house and not work for, for a living. Who you think paying their bills? See, I blame y'all mama now. That's what's wrong. Y'all mama now let y'all do whatever y'all want. And now your mama now on social media complaining that y'all don't clean up, y'all don't cook, y'all don't want to work, and y'all in, in the room closing doors and just doing this and, and getting mad and y'all fighting your mama and, and hitting your mom. Baby, I wish you would. Swing on me, and I'm your mama. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in heaven and earth. 
that you still be walking right. Mm -mm. You parents out there scared of your kids. It's your fault. Because now I'm watching some of these kids pussing at their mom and they, what, two years old, three years old. Sit your ass down. Shut the fuck up. And the mom over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give him a few, few more years. Because, see, he over there thinking he can do what that abusive daddy can do. That's what they think. They looking at the baby daddy. That scumbag you, you hooked up with for a night. Wondering why he don't, he don't do this or do that or, or help with child support or whatever. Where you find him at? Where you find him? Yeah. It's been a lot of things on my mind lately. A lot of things on my mind. But, um, yeah, I went out. As y'all saw, I went out to the comedy, comedy store. Met some of those comedians and embarrassed myself. You know what I hate? How y'all on this trip where can't nobody ever make a mistake or an error? Mm, she did this or that. Uh, you can't you can't socialize or talk to her anymore or him anymore because they they did this or they did that. People are human. I'm sorry. <clears throat> People are human. We can make mistakes. We make mistakes every day. You make mistakes every day. All y'all with this. Baby, you got one time to mess up with me. You got one time to that. Shut up. You messed up so many damn times in your life, it don't even make sense. Y'all sitting out here teaching your kids that they only got one time to do something right. But, let me bring this back around. Let me do a wrap around. I'm do a wrap around. I'm do a wrap around. So what I want to say is all the people who have a desire to do a YouTube channel, to do social media, whatever, I am really enjoying this more than I thought because this is making me get out the house, right? So I'm thinking of things to do, places to go to show y'all around Los Angeles while I come back, you know, and do my my uh talking head part, you know. But, baby, I've been having so much fun, so much fun figuring out my next location, where I want to go, what I want to show y'all. So, y'all better, better subscribe. Because I'm getting down. I'm getting the nitty gritty. So, don't be afraid. Oh, this is the other thing back to employers. Quit thinking what people say on social media is what they're going to do on the job. That's two different damn things. Social media is comedy. Social media is just us acting crazy, having fun. Y'all need to cut out judging people. Certain people can have social media and other people can't. Everybody in the world got social media. Y'all need to cut that stuff out. Don't worry about what people handles are. Just worry about if they can do the job to help your damn company. That's all y'all need to worry about. Okay? Y'all getting to my nerve. You hiring the wrong people and wondering why your company got all them damn turnovers. It's the person that they reporting to. That that uh, person that's sitting up there in the hiring room in HR 
that ain't doing what they supposed to do. That's why. That's why. Stop letting people on your job, in your company, harass other employees. Stop it. Employees should be able to put in a box or go email somebody or let you know that they are being harassed. And the person that's harassing and bullying them people need to be out. That's why y'all company's going under. That's why. You got people working in customer service. When certain people open the door, hi, how are you? How am I helping? Other people open the door. What you want? I will bust. Listen. Customer service is for everybody. If you don't want to do it, don't work there. Don't let them work there. Y'all need... Ooh. You see, I'm I, I'm going back and forth, and I'm sorry. Because, you know, like I say, I'm looking for a new job since I can't direct my films right away. Some of y'all are trifling. Ain't no other word. Trifling. And some I can't blame half of these Gen Z's because your mama taught you that. Your mama or your daddy. Now for the ones who had neither, I'm sorry. But you need to go get with somebody and learn something. If your mama and daddy wasn't around or if you was in... Sorry, or you was in, let's say, foster care and you, you, you weren't treated right or whatever. There's some elders somewhere in the community, in the church, somewhere that you can go and confide to. There's somebody that will talk to you. Just quit thinking you don't have nobody. You got to figure it out, just like everything else. There's groups online now that will help you counseling if you know or feel you haven't been taught the right things. There's people online that's reaching out to help other people. Everything on, on social media is not shake their ass, back it up, and cussing out people or embarrassing people. There's some people online that's truly doing good work and helping other people. You have to find them. So what I did this time, because they ain't give me, see they only give you one marinara sauce with, how many I need, but four, four. But I think it might be nine or ten in here. So they only give you one marinara sauce, and then do wanted me to pay five dollars for one that's this size. It wasn't even no bigger than this. You want me to pay five, six dollars for that? So this time, I ordered some meat sauce because it got the marinara in there and so I'm eating the meat sauce on these delicious toasted raviolis I can't I can't even explain how good this is <laughs> It's so good. Oh my God. It's so good. But I want y'all to treat people right. And if you can't help somebody get your butt out the way, let them do what they do. And don't be opening your mouth trying to discredit people and talk about people on stuff that happened in the past that you know probably was your fault in the first place. Leave people alone. 
Go find out what you do. Figure out who you are. Yeah, the first time you meet somebody, it might not be right, you know. The person could have been nervous. They could have been going through something, you know, personal issues. Stop Xing people out for one or two little bitty things. And then you, you want to walk around like you, the gift of God. When you messing up and treating people like poop every day. Yeah, I said it. So anyway, try to do good for yourself and someone else. Thank y'all for watching. I'm burning up. I'm finna finish my food. And call it a night. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you next time. And Lord, I hope I don't have no food in my tea. I can feel it. I can feel it, y'all. Sorry for eating messy, but I'm trying to knock two things out at once.